Hi, welcome to Toy Hill Studio. My name is Kendall Kessler. Decided to get back to my Skyline Beauty series, and this time I'm doing Los Angeles, and I decided to go over the white at the beginning so that I can really see the color relationships, how they're working out. Uh, if you've watched any of my videos, you've, you've noticed me saying that, that white, white is all a combination of all colors, so it kind of fights with any color you put down. So I've got it completely covered, and now I'm just really going to play with some, hopefully some wet and wet, since I've already got some paint down that might not work as well as I think. And just going to really, just really have some fun with this one. I always have fun with these, but just really, really let it happen. The last one I did, which was the center of my mind painting, an abstract painting, I really put the paint on thick. This time I want to see what happens if I really bleed and maybe let it drip some. I don't know. With all these YouTube ones, I really just try to do different things, see what happens, and then go with it. And lots of times I go back into them afterwards, too. Now, because I've got that color there already down, I can really see what color I'm getting, and I'm not happy already. Because <laughs> I really want to get a lot going on and already I'm getting kind of a dull look so I'll see if I can't get a little more a little more vibrancy going with some reds I always like doing these I have a lot of them and I always like to to um, do different ones of the same place so, oh yeah there you go I want to get more going on here so that uh, it's, just, it's just fun to interpret to get a different exciting look at each one and it's weird not being able to put the yellow down and really see it because I've already got a lot of yellow there so that's kind of a weird experience I don't know maybe I should just stay with the white sign Kind of getting a duller look than I expected to get. Probably gonna have to really go back into this to get something going. Didn't want it to be real muted. Now the painting that I'm working on right now, my oil painting of a Blue Ridge Overlook, really working with a lot of pinks, pink clouds, and just a really interesting sunset. And I was thinking of using a lot of those colors today. I don't know, I might have to really forget about the bleeding and just really start piling paint down because I'm not getting anything near what I was hoping to get. The colors are just too muted for my taste. Well, let's see what happens. Of course I can always go back into the background too. And go there. This is certainly not what I expected to happen. I really thought the colors would bleed and show up better since it's just a light wash I've got in the background but I feel like it's not holding its own at all with what's back there so can't say I'm happy with this at all it's not horrible or anything but it's uh, not getting what I wanted I am um, versatile in a lot of different mediums. Well, modesty aside, I really am. But um, I mainly work in oils, so I'm always learning about acrylics. And it's quite an experience. I feel like I have come a long way in this medium. And I'm learning new things all the time. And I learned something today that I don't think I like doing that, having that. I think I'm having the worst time checking out the the colors with the cover background than other times. So probably what I'm going to have to do is go over it with a lot of white on each color. See what happens if I try that. So that it stands out more. I feel like it's just it's just too muted for my taste. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just too muted. I really wanted more more interaction of the colors. Oh, so 
see what happens here. Yeah, I just don't like the way it's working with that color that I put down. Probably should have put it a much lighter wash so that it was hardly there at all and just got rid of the white. But I'll come up with something. I don't ever give up. It's one thing very true about all my work is I never give up. I was having a lot of trouble with my current painting. It started out as an arm wrestler. <laughs> I was like, oh boy. And then all of a sudden it really took a nice turn into this atmospheric effect I really love to get in mountain paintings. And it's starting to really come along now. It's quite an impasto painting though. I keep thinking maybe I can go back to a little more of a traditional way of handling the paint, the thin to thick method, and never get real thick. And when I do that, I always go, uh-uh. <laughs> okay, start putting that paint on. It never works out. Um, rules are meant to be broken, but I think that's one rule I've got to stick with, at least for, for now, that I really have to put the paint on to get what I want, to get all the complexity and to get the textures right. And, well, I don't know. Um, I really don't know. This one is just too muted for me. But maybe that's what I'm just going to go with. It's always good to have different things. Maybe it would be nice to have one that's muted. I think I do, as I do this, I need to use a lot of white. Because the colors are just not standing out very well with that background. Yeah, that's helping. So I'm going to do the rest of it using a lot of white so the colors really, really come out. And the background won't take over. Painting is quite an experience. You never know what's going to happen. Even if you're just trying to represent what's in front of you, you still never know. It's always an experience. Yeah, I'm just really not happy. Let me get a bigger brush and move this along. Maybe I can do something else with it after I get it completely covered. <clears throat> That's the last time I'm going to get rid of the white at first. <laughs> <clears throat> I had a teacher who would always make a gray background. Always cover the canvas with gray so that that white wouldn't stick out. And I did that too, and it worked pretty well. But I think that the way I paint now is so different from then that it's not a good idea for me. I think it's better if I just work with the white and just keep building up the paint. Eventually I do cover it. But I'm going to use the paint a little thicker and go a little faster here. Yeah, that's getting better. I think I need to mainly just use more paint. Yeah, that's a lot better. And forget about it bleeding, because I think the bleeding effect just isn't working well with the uh, pattern that I've already got, got down here. So I'm just going to really start plot, putting the paint on. Hard, hard time with my red showing up. It just keeps turning this brownish color. I'm gonna put some pink in that. Too much to do all the time. And about the rest of you, uh, I just feel really, really crunched for time lately. Been trying to do some things for the election. I'm not going to tell anybody how to vote or anything, but I have very strong feelings about this election, and I have just finished some letters to send out to people that don't usually vote. And it doesn't say to vote for the party I want. It just says vote. <laughs> so I think that's very important. We all need to get out there and vote. It does make a difference, and I think this election is extremely important. There, no, no, I'm not paying so much close attention. I'm starting to get a lot better. And we need to, oh yeah, now we're getting something going. 
Yeah, I needed to use more white. That's what it was. Oh, that's much better. But, uh, just talking about voting. You know, I really do need to get out there and vote. Yeah, now we're getting something going. Okay. Well, it took a while. Now I'm starting to see something that I really like. Yeah, I think I just need to use a lot of white. Need to take those colors way up for this to really turn into something I like. And I've got a layer down now in most of this painting, so that's helping too. Oh yeah, now I'm starting to get what I like out of the painting. But I might have to stop and get some more white. Some that out. Yeah, that's getting much, much better. Yeah, I'm gonna just have to stop a minute and get some more white. Yeah, now, now it's working with the background instead of just not doing anything. Okay, I gotta stop for a second and just get some more white out. Oh, I always like to just really see what happens with these YouTube videos, so you know. This time though I did remember to get extra water because after a while it gets muddy and I really don't want to keep running don't want to run back and forth to get water. Already gone eleven minutes. Now I'm starting to get somewhere. Took a while. But now I'm starting to see some things I like. Just the uh, bleeding thing was <laughs> not going to work. It needed to just get more into a, a thick layering of paint. I was starting to think I wasn't going to have anything I liked at all. Now yeah, we're getting somewhere. Okay, now we're getting some things I like. I think I will just um, just leave leave the, the back on the way it is and just work with this. And then I, I was thinking, there were several things I was thinking to do that I didn't really do. I was thinking just kind of to mute down the, the bottom and just let it kind of go into more of a solid color. I thought that would be interesting. So I'm going to use my pink and do that and then make some decisions. This particular view of Los Angeles has a lot of buildings in right where I'm painting right now but I'm just going to do this and just have a fanciful skyline. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. So we had to wonder yeah, I'm starting to see some things I like. Yeah, it was a matter of the paint. Needed more. And now I'm starting to run out of the pink. Boy. Not... This one is one of the most... What's going to happen next one? I've done a long time. Yeah, I do think... I, I do like that. That it should go all the way down. I think that's working good. So I'm definitely going to, I'm going to do that. But changing up so it's not all that just that same brushwork. Just kind of let it go into this. So this is really very different. Um, I don't think I have one, anything like this in all my skylines. And that's what I want. I want to have all these different effects in these paintings. Yeah, it's 14 minutes. That's not so long. So work a little longer. And I'm going to have to go back into these and kind of fix them up. Okay, I'm going to get the smaller brush and just kind of... No, no, not that small. I'm going to just see if I can go into some of these areas and get some, some accents going. With a small rush. Okay, got some accents going down here. Oh, glad I finally figured out why it wasn't working. Yeah, I think it's much better now. Oh yeah, really. Like the 
blue much better that way. It was just kind of muted out. Now it's really getting some vibrancy going. Now it's getting to the point where it's like, oh, hmm. Do I quit? Do I keep going? That's the way paintings all, always are. I might do some more in the sky area. I don't know. Because now it's looking like it's being having no effect on the rest of the painting. So I don't know. Wow, this is very different. Don't have one like this. And I will do some more of Los Angeles, probably two more, and do something completely different from this. All right, getting to that. Do I quit? Do I keep going? Or do I just stop and look at it for a while and then come back to it? Yeah, I think I probably will not um, change it so much, but just kind of add a little more to it because it's looking kind of weak against the rest of the painting. So I might add some more. This might be the point where I just stop look at it for a while and decide if I want to work more this afternoon. Well, I think I'm just going to quit. Right there and then look at it. I'm probably going to think about kind of making some patterns with the pink and the blue for going around because it always helps in a design to have this way, this way, this way, this way, round and round. <laughs> Just uh, hold your attention. But I'm going to stop there. Thank you for watching. Be sure to click on the link in the description to see the final painting because I'm not real sure what's going to happen. I might leave it like this, but I kind of doubt it. Also, there's a link to my shop on Etsy, my website, WordPress, and others.